Good morning, everybody. It's Ryan here, and uh, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. That's camp. I'm going to do an overnight uh, out here in the woods with uh, an old friend and a new friend. So, as you can see, I have my Russian bear market tent, and I have something new to test out. from China. So this was sent to me by H Calorie. Um, it is a 5000K diesel air heater. Um, I know you guys have seen hundreds of videos on these things, but this one here is something special. It's a uh, briefcase style. Uh, you can open up the other side, and I'll show you that to you guys later when I take it all down. Um, and everything is kept inside of this. What else is awesome about this is they sell a inverter or converter that uh, you can actually power this thing from uh, your household power. It comes with everything you need to get started. Um, the only major installation I had to do was connect the fuel tank. Um, I've got diesel fuel in there. Um, it has this really cool plug that plugs in right here uh, versus just splicing wires together and everything else. And something that's really, really cool is it's Bluetooth controlled. So I can uh, run this thing from my phone. Uh, you don't see that in a lot of uh, diesel heaters. And yeah, this one, matter of fact, it's quite awesome. Um, if you also follow the link in the description, uh, they were kind enough to give me a discount code for all of my uh, viewers. So um, I'm going to start setting this thing up, and like I said, it is super duper simple. So just put the exhaust in, and here's the cute little muffler. And they send you with plenty of hardware so you can make sure that this stuff doesn't uh, fall out. Now, uh, something else I find that is absolutely just beautiful about this model is uh, the air intake filter. So it screws on, but it actually has a foam filter in there versus uh, I had purchased a cheap one that failed after five days because I wanted to save money. And uh, Literally, it was a plastic housing with some really cheap, uh, poorly put together plastic, uh, almost like screen for your windows, but like big enough for bugs to get through. So um, I'm not overly concerned about this falling off. That is on there really good. But the other end, I, I can't say that I'm concerned, but we'll play it on the safe side. So what's cool about this is, you know, you have, um, like I said, everything is built inside the case. You have the fuel line is away from the muffler, which I always kind of chuckled to myself. Um, that's a dangerous situation. The exhaust gets quite hot. I had tested this a few times, and it, as you can see, it, it blew the stainless. Uh, bluing is what happens when something gets super hot. So we are going to connect the air breather real quick, which is very important. Um, so it can stay burning. You need fresh air to get diesel fuel going. And you don't want any bugs or other creepy crawlies going in there. 
I also brought a rock to sit on the exhaust because like I said it does get hot. Okay, so um, the other part, they give you a, uh, a vent, which is cool because you can change the direction and everything else, how it works. So we'll connect this real quick. That's how we want that. And you get some oversized uh, hose clamps to clamp these on. I've seen other videos recently about other uh, brands and they talk about how the instructions are terrible. Um, these are really straightforward. Uh, I would, I, I find it kind of funny that some people are confused on how they work because like I said, it's very, very straightforward. Um, but the instructions for this brand is actually uh, quite good. The uh, language barrier sometimes translates <laughs> things a little bit funny but uh, these guys took their time and and uh, really uh, got it right so I am going to point this up just a little bit because I don't quite want it down on the ground um, so you got your controller which is built in um, which you know is cool This is the only kind of issue I have, I guess. I think that'll work just like that. I wonder if I can even get this on there. Just to help keep it in there. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's going to be pumping into the heat. And uh, so um, I'm gonna turn it on by the remote, or the controller rather. And if you guys listen, Start it talks to you. And it does take a couple of minutes to get going. It's It runs self-test. Um, this particular heater has been certified in the U.S., meaning that it, it passed um, some pretty rigorous testing to make sure that it's not going to burn your house down. Um, I had made mention earlier that I had bought a cheap one trying to save money. And um, a big problem it started doing was uh, leaking diesel fuel into the exhaust and the air breather. Um, reason why is it, it wasn't firing for some reason. Uh, after five days, I highly, highly doubt it was any kind of uh, coke buildup issue or anything like that. I think it was just super cheap and it failed. So... Um, don't go cheap on these things. That could have been an absolute disaster had it uh, been very, very hot and then had uh, started leaking the fuel, it could have burnt down my house. Well, my RV, where I'm living. Uh, so, yeah, don't go cheap on these things. Get a good quality one like this one from H. Carolee. Um, really long cord. Like I said, you can hook it up to a battery. Uh, this works off 12 volt, um, works off of uh, 24 volt. Yeah, you can already hear it firing. So, cool. Um, as you can see, it's quite cold out. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to uh, camp overnight and, and uh, see how this goes. No vision. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the app a little bit here. I've been using this app for a little bit now. I know some people are like, oh, it's a spy app, blah, blah, blah. It, it's not. Um, so this shows me the voltage. Uh, it's a little bit low because there is a, a big power draw right at the beginning. Um, I can adjust the uh, temperature, so right about there, 20 degrees Celsius, that's 70 degrees. It tells you that it's uh, igniting. Um, 
you can change it to kind of like an automatic mode or manual mode. It's in manual mode right now. And this set thing is for password and something else. It doesn't, I don't know, make a whole lot of sense to me quite yet. But uh, right here you can see that the temperature is climbing inside the uh, heater itself. So it's at 82 degrees Celsius. So there's 82 degrees Celsius coming out of the uh, heater. So yeah, this is the app. And like I said, you can set the temperature. You can automatic level mode. It's reached stable combustion. And um, you can change the levels. But I kind of like running it in manual mode just so I can uh, you know, set the temperature. So, um, yeah, that's the app in a nutshell. I will, uh, whew, that wind, let's go inside now. <laughs> wow, um, <laughs> yeah, this thing uh, kicks out the heat. Holy cow, is it hot in here. Uh, I'm gonna be sleeping very comfortable tonight. That's uh, for certain. So um, I did end up running this a little bit different because with the uh, tent I'm using, it's uh, dual walled, dual chambered, whatever you want to call it. It's a tent inside of a tent and that helps give you the insulation. Um, so with that, the uh, air hole or whatever you want to call it, fresh air hole, I guess, uh, which this is where you put a wood stove if you want to put one in. Um, it, uh, was making the tent air up basically um which as good as that heater is working that uh may not be a bad thing so one complaint uh people have is the noise that comes from these things it's honestly not that bad uh i also have it on high so, you know, it's uh, keeping it toasty. So, I am going to make breakfast. Oops. I uh, brought a few things here. I also brought something kind of neat to uh, make for dinner. Um, I haven't really ever done this before out in the woods, so I think it'll be kind of cool. And of course, this wouldn't be an episode of Ryan Outdoors if I didn't cook something. So I brought my twig stove because I don't really need a big fire. So I'm going to try to remember how this thing works precisely. Oops, that goes like that. That looks good. This is your little ash pan. And here is the cooking part. There we go. Also, I brought, because I never go anywhere without them, because they're such a uh, Awesome product, to be honest with you. Uh, my Bigfoot Bushcraft fire plugs. It's uh, also a link you can follow to uh, get a good discount on anything you purchase from these guys. So, break it apart. First thing you gotta do is get some twigs. Hence the name Twig Stove. I break a few up, pretty teeny tiny, and throw them on the very bottom. And then we'll uh, continue the festivities. Supposed to be down in the teens tonight. Chance of snow in the morning. 
So it might be quite beautiful waking up. I also, instead of coffee, I made, uh, or I didn't make, I got uh, mint hot chocolate. That sounds good for breakfast. So these things take a spark great, but we're going to do it the difficult way and use a lighter. <laughs> yeah, she's burning. So I'm going to continue to break up a few small twigs. Okay, so I got a couple of eggs from my chickens. I'm guessing that's probably a double yoker and that's a single. And I got a pocket full of butter. Coke water because I forgot to get water, so I had to fill up this. So, right about there. I don't remember how big this cup is. I think it's 20 ounce. There, that's probably accurate. So we're gonna get the water going first and then we'll uh, get the eggs going. So, she's got a pretty good flame going. few more twigs out of doer. Nobody wants undercooked eggs, right? Feels great to be back out in the woods. Actually missed it, but I've just been so busy. Between work and getting the wife and daughter here. 
It's quite taxing. Alright. Tear into these eggs and then uh, we'll go from there. Pro tip. Cook your eggs with Frank's Red Hot infused. Um, I am speaking a little bit louder. My mic died. Maybe time to upgrade. I don't know. Good breakfast. Peekaboo. <laughs> so, um, holy cow. This uh, heater works great. I've got it uh, right there. I filled the tank up all the way. I just kind of want to see how much it uses. I've got it on high right now, but I'll probably end up turning it down. But uh, we're going to get the old twig stove going again. And, uh, whew, man, my hands are cold. Went out, went out and collected some wood. It is cold outside. I'm going to get some twigs going here so I can make dinner. As hot as the air comes out of this thing, I wonder if you couldn't... Uh, Heat something up like a, I don't know, hot dog or something. But, yeah. Test for a later time. I also collected some birch bark. So I am making tuna and macaroni cheese for uh, dinner. My noodles, my trusty pot. thing fired up. Oh, no. It's so chilly out. Actually, I'm get a couple more twigs ready. I uh, actually ordered something off of Amazon that would have gave me the inside and the outside temperature, but uh, luck be it, the post office is terrible. <laughs> it's not even the start of the season. But uh, yeah, so they uh, it was supposed to be delivered Friday, that didn't happen. It was supposed to be delivered today, that didn't happen. So at least I got the heater.
probably hear my generator in the background. I'm charging the batteries. It's uh, solar doesn't work very well and when it's cloudy. how I manage that but I managed to get birch bark to <laughs> go out so I guess I'll uh, get a goofy dogs so what's cool about this uh, Diesel air heater is, uh, it's all compact. I showed you guys how it's kind of like a briefcase. Um, you can store everything in there. And uh, not only that, it's actually really lightweight. So you could easily uh, take it with you if you got like a... Uh, one of those big power bank things like Jackery or something like that. And uh, the converter thing. You could uh, take this thing anywhere with you, really. Um, winter camping, whatever. Ice fishing. I will be using this, uh, doing some ice fishing later this year, as soon as the ice forms. Um, definitely excited to try that. And yeah, the the heat output is just insane with this thing. Um, they are switching from the 5K to 8K, which would be uh, even more heat. I think I need that one. Oh, cool, I got leaf litter. There we go. Those noodles going, but uh, yeah, it. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's gonna be tasty. Um, is this this thing is going to be so versatile? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Lay down a little bit. Feeling old. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you know, ice fishing, uh, you name it. There's going to be so many uh, different things to do with this uh, heater. It's um, even with the door wide open like it is, it is warm in here. I'm not 100% sure the outside temperature. Um, I know it's supposed to get down into the teens. Beautiful full moon. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, definitely going to be a comfortable night sleeping. So um, I'm going to let this get going here and then uh, check back in with you guys here in a bit. Oh, this twig stove is working great. So is this heater. <laughs> um, yeah, wow. Thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you again, H-Calorie. Um, 
like I said, the link will be in the description and a special discount code. And definitely I recommend getting one of these. Um, I was testing it to see how well it worked before I came out and did this video. Um, and it's amazing how quickly this thing warms things up and actually how fuel efficient it really is. Um, I have water totes that I built an insulated building around and uh, I had this uh, keeping that from freezing because it got really cold the other day. It actually froze my water lines uh, in the RV, which I also used <laughs> this heater to thaw those out. Um, um, you could uh, put it in a shop, put it in a garage, put it in a shed, uh, put it in a motor home. Um, I use one to heat my motor home right now. Uh, I had one in the schoolie when I was using it. Um, but this by far is absolutely the best I've honestly come across. And I'm not saying that just because they sent me a uh, review product. I'm saying that because I honestly believe it. Um, the whole Bluetooth feature, the wireless remote is just amazing. Um, I never thought I would <laughs> see anything like that, to be honest with you. And it works great. Um, you know, if you had a boat, you could put one of these in there. They're super simple to install. They're not challenging at all. Um, you can order parts for them. If anything fails, glow plugs, anything. Um, these are truly, truly good devices from this company. Uh, like I've said in the past, I've, I've bought some and they've lasted five days. But yeah, so absolutely love this thing so far. All right, dinner is done. Um, so I had the heater set to 20 Celsius, which is about 70 degrees, and I had to turn it down. Uh, <laughs> it is hot in here. I may end up sleeping on top of my sleeping bag. definitely be sleeping comfortably tonight. I even have one of my windows open. This is a meal fit for a king.
Bon Appetit. It's going to help my sleep. Okay. I don't even know if I'll uh, have to sleep in my sleeping bag or if I can just sleep on top of it. It is toasty in here. Guy, oh, ah, got to put the cheese on the macaroni and cheese. Dang it, dang it, Bobby. Holy cow, is it warm in here? Oh. It was good to get these off. And I can set those by the heater to dry them off. like that. Oh, wrong way. Right there's the vent. Should definitely dry those off by morning. Bedhead. <laughs> oh, where's the switch at? There we go. So, yeah. So far, absolutely loving this heater. It's uh, super duper efficient. It's actually relatively quiet, it's right outside the tent. And yes, I can hear it, but you just kind of like get accustomed to it, you know. And I've got it set to 16 degrees Celsius right now. It is all of that in here. So, yeah. Even, you know, with the ground being cold, it... Uh, I don't think I'll need a sleeping pad or anything. It's I may just sleep like this. Cuz this is toasty. But so yeah, we'll see how the night goes. I'm going to let this food settle. Get something to drink real quick. And yeah, I think I'm going to hit the hay, hay. So see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Holy cow. It is toasty in here. Um, I have the heater almost set down to the lowest setting and yeah it is warm <laughs> say the least so this is a huge game changer for winter camping to be honest with you um, as soon as I get up and pack a few things we'll uh, 
go look at the fuel consumption. I had it between probably 10 and 18 degrees Celsius throughout the night. Um, definitely could have probably left it at 10. Boots are nice and dry. And warm, which is nice. That's one thing that is uh, not fun in the wintertime is uh, putting cold boots on. So, yeah. This sleeping bag was more than enough to uh, keep me quite toasty. I actually had this window open uh, just to help get some kind of cool air in too. And where the stovepipe actually goes through, uh, if you put a wood stove in here, that's open too. And then there's a vent right here that's open as well. Um, if you did it properly, you could easily put the heater inside, but I really didn't need it to be inside. <laughs> uh, sounds like it's snowing again. But yeah, uh, awesome little heater. Very, very impressed with it. Um, again, follow the link in the description and uh, you can get a discount. I'll give you a code. Oh man, I didn't bring any coffee or anything like that. Because it's just a quick little overnight. But we're going to get up and uh, I'll show you a couple of things on the heater and yeah, go from there. So there you go. That's how much fuel I used in one night. I'd say a tenth of a gallon. <laughs> So, I'll show you guys here. What the inside of this looks like. So, there's the diesel heater itself. The pump is right there. Uh, fuel filters inside. Everything's insulated so it doesn't get hot and melt everything. Um, there's the info tag like i said this is the 5k version they are coming out with a eight actually they came out with the 8k version um which is awesome but yeah there's the wiring you can store all of this in there but i'm going to immediately take this and uh put it in my water tote uh, thing. This cute little muffler. Got some warm air coming out of there. And also, here's the controls. You can adjust it with the knob, uh, all kinds of stuff. I love that this thing talks to you. So when you turn it off, it, uh, stops the flame and it starts its cool down process and then when it's nice and cool it uh, says something very nice to you another cool thing is uh, right there's the fuel connection so you could hook this to a bigger tank
So, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thank you again to H Calorie for sending me your uh, diesel air heater. Um, I know that some of these get a bad rap uh, because they're cheap and blah, blah, blah. But uh, I'm telling you, this is a game changer. Uh, so many applications that you can do with these. Uh, like I said, I've got one in the motorhome I recently installed. Uh, I plumbed it into the existing uh, ductwork, so it heats the whole uh, thing up, the whole motorhome. But uh, this is by far a superior product and best one I've seen on the market. So thanks for tuning in. And again, follow the link and uh, use that discount code. Get yours ordered today. This is Ryan with Ryan Outdoors, and thank you for coming on this journey. Bye.